let's talk about acquisition culture change and what does that mean to right. you? So what, what it means to me, um, having been doing contracting for the better part of two decades now, right? Um, I believe we as a community need to go on the offense. Um, we need to be more proactive, and that's not to say that we haven't been, um, but we as a community a lot of times have taken on all the responsibilities for the acquisition uh, as, it, as it goes down its life cycle. I think there's a need to hold our customers accountable for their part of this, um, and that's going to take some tough communication between us and our customers, right? Um, that means that when they can't provide a document or they make a decision that we have a frank discussion with them on here is the impact to your acquisition if you do that. Um, here is the impact of changing the requirement. Here is the impact too. Because what I've seen in the past is um, maybe we have that conversation, but when things go, don't go well and the acquisition takes too long or something else happens, the only people that are getting blamed seem to be the contracting people. Uh, I'm not taking that anymore. I think we as a community need to um, accept the things that potentially are our fault um, or that we control, but hold those that are, we're working with accountable for their decisions. But that means we've got to inform them. You know, you, if you make this change, here is the time and risk that you uh, bring to this acquisition. Um, so I, I have been um, aggressive uh, and I will continue to be aggressive um, with um, what I perceive, not just, you know, our, our customer base, but our contractors. I am not afraid to pick up the phone and say, you have got to get back to the table and I will bring the people to the table and we will get this done. Um, because it's all about readiness and modernization, right? We have a sweet spot right now in the next two years where the Army can get after its readiness and modernization pieces. And I don't wanna sit back on my heels and watch it and wait for things to happen. I wanna get aggressive and I want the people that, that work with me and for me to get out there and do this. And you know, put, put your arm around whoever you gotta do, get them in a the room and get it done. Uh, I just came back from an event uh, yesterday where I was doing exactly that, contractor, customer, and us. Got them in a room, and basically my view of the world was we got to negotiate this and get it done. You've got your side of the negotiation, I've got my side of the negotiation, but in the end, the Army needs X, and we've got to get to X. How will this command look after Shape the Fight is implemented? Right. Structurally, I don't think there's massive changes, right? There's not going to be another center stood up. There's not gonna be um, another brigade stood up, any of that. There's not gonna be 100 people, 100 new people, or, or you know, we're gonna throw, a, you know, get rid of 100 people. That's not what we're doing. Um, what we looked for was, what are the things we can do as a command to better serve the Army, right? Um, what are the things that our boss asks us? I get asked all the time, hey, you know, in town halls, hey, we're really running hard. We, do we, you know, I, I don't think I have enough people. Um, I don't think I have the right mix of people. Then General Perna comes in and says, you guys are doing a great job. You obligate a lot of money. You're doing a lot of things, but I can't tell whether you're healthy or not. So that's a measure of the health of the organization. How do we get after that? So one of the things I started doing the, the, the minute I got here was trying to push the data analytics and VCE implementation across the command. And why is that important, right? It's important at the, and, and it can't happen unless everybody's doing it. Everybody, me on down, have gotta be using VCE because if I can measure what you're doing all the way through the chain, I can, I can come back to the Army and say, Look, I, I, I do or I do not have enough 1102s. I do or do not have enough 1910s. I do or do not have enough 2210s. And on and on and on. Um, so we have to be able to objectively measure the command. 